Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts, and today I'll be showing you how I made these two geometric air plant holders. I looked on Google for lots of different designs because I wanted to put my air plant in something nice, and of course when I saw the geometric ones, I thought it would be pretty cool to try to recreate that using perler beads. It's pretty easy, you just need two types of pieces, and let's get started. To make this geometric planter, all you'll need is a hexagon pegboard and a square pegboard. You can try various color combinations. I'll be using this cooler blue combination and also this warmer red combination. The first piece I'll be making is the triangle pieces. I'll need eight of these. Make sure that the length of the triangular sides are the same as the square sides. And all I'm doing is putting them into different layers here. I'm putting the darker blue on the outside and then putting some lighter blues. You can arrange them any way you like and as long as you like how it looks, you can try different gradients or even a rainbow. Now for the square pieces, I'll be making four of these and again, all I'm doing is using a different color for each layer. I have to make the size of the square the same as a triangle, so the dimensions will be 11 by 11 per beads. Now all you have to do is iron and make seven more pieces of the triangle and three more pieces of the square. Now the hardest part about this project is gluing all the pieces together. So I have my square piece and triangle piece and my trusty glue gun. So all I'm doing is putting a small line of glue on the triangle piece try to make it clean and then attaching it to the square make sure that the angle isn't like a 90 degree angle it's more like 150 so you should do it like that and while it's like this it's still kind of movable see you can still move it like that and then later I'll go over it and make sure that it's held together tightly but now I'm gonna get my second triangle piece and putting this at the bottom. Once I go around with all the pieces like this, it will eventually create that geometric shape that you want. While you watch me glue all these pieces together, it's time for a random math lesson, yay! So I've been calling this a geometric planter because I didn't know what this shape was called. So I did some googling and I found out that this is called a cube octahedron, which means that it's made up of six square sides and eight triangle sides. It's an Archimedean solid, whatever that means. And yeah, the more you know. Once you clean it up and make sure that all the sides are connected together properly, then you're pretty much done. That's it. That is your geometric plant holder. The reason why I didn't put a bottom piece is because sometimes you want to water your plant and then there might be some water coming through and this just makes it easier to clean and it saves you a lot of beads as well. However, if you do want to cover it up, all you have to do is make one more 11 by 11 square and just glue it on top. Okay, so that's how you make these little geometric plant holders. I'll be using these to hold air plants. This is Fred. And I'll definitely be putting this in my dorm room when school starts. And my air plant here is a bit dehydrated. They don't need soil, but they do need watering a few times. So that's why I left a hole here so that sometimes the water can just fall through onto a plate or a napkin that I put down there. And other uses could be for like pencils. You can use this as a pencil holder and it would be best if you had a bottom if you were holding pencils. So like I said before, just make that extra piece. If you made it all the way to the end, you are awesome as usual. All of my social media links are down below and if you recreate this, tag me at Cutie Crafts so that I can see what color combinations you've tried. I'm also on Perler Amino as a Perler YouTuber, so check out my blog post there. This isn't a sponsor by the way, I'm just saying. And thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time with another Cutie Craft.